Euler's formula, named after Leonhard Euler, is a mathematical formula in complex analysis that establishes the fundamental relationship between the trigonometric functions and the complex exponential function. Euler's formula states that, for any real number x, where e is the base of the natural logarithm, i is the imaginary unit, and cos and sin are the trigonometric functions cosine and sine respectively. With the argument texts given in radians, this complex exponential function is sometimes denoted ci's. The formula is still valid if x is a complex number, and so some authors refer to the more general complex version as Euler's formula. Euler's formula is ubiquitous in mathematics, physics, and engineering. The physicist Richard Feynman called the equation R dual and the most remarkable formula in mathematics history. Johann Bernoulli noted that and since the above equation tells us something about complex logarithms, Bernoulli, however, did not evaluate the integral. Bernoulli's correspondence with Euler shows that Bernoulli did not fully understand complex logarithms. Euler also suggested that the complex logarithms can have infinitely many values. Meanwhile, Roger Coates, in 1714, discovered that Coates missed the fact that a complex logarithm can have infinitely many values, differing by multiples of 2 i pi, due to the periodicity of the trigonometric functions. Around 1740 Euler turned his attention to the exponential function instead of logarithms and obtained the formula used today that is named after him. It was published in 1748, obtained by comparing the series expansions of the exponential and trigonometric expressions. None of these mathematicians saw the geometrical interpretation of the formula. The view of complex numbers as points in the complex plane was described some 50 years later by Caspar Wessel. Applications in Complex Number Theory this formula can be interpreted as saying that the function eix is a unit complex number, i.e., traces out the unit circle in the complex plane as x ranges through the real numbers. Here, x is the angle that a line connecting the origin with a point on the unit circle makes with the positive real axis, measured counterclockwise and in radians. The original proof is based on the Taylor series expansions of the exponential function ez and of sin x and cos x for real numbers x. In fact, the same proof shows that Euler's formula is even valid for all complex numbers x. A point in the complex plane can be represented by a complex number written in Cartesian coordinates. Euler's formula provides a means of conversion between Cartesian coordinates and polar coordinates. The polar form simplifies the mathematics when used in multiplication or powers of complex numbers. Any complex number z equals x plus i y and its complex conjugate z equals x minus i y can be written as where the real part the imaginary part the magnitude of z at and 2 is the argument of z, i.e., the angle between the x-axis and the vector z measured counterclockwise and in radians, which is defined up to addition of 2 pi. Many texts write theta equals tan minus 1 instead of theta equals that and 2, but the first equation needs adjustment when x 0. This is because, for any real x, why not both zero, the angles of the vectors and differ by pi radians, but have the identical value of tan equals y, x. Now, taking this derived formula, we can use Euler's formula to define the logarithm of a complex number. To do this, we also use the definition of the logarithm that and that both valid for any complex numbers r and b. Therefore, one can write. For any z0, taking the logarithm of both sides shows that, and in fact this can be used as the definition for the complex logarithm. The logarithm of a complex number is thus a multivalued function, because is multivalued. Finally, the other exponential law which can be seen to hold for all integers k, together with Euler's formula, implies several trigonometric identities as well as de Moivre's formula. Relationship to trigonometry 
Euler's formula provides a powerful connection between analysis and trigonometry, and provides an interpretation of the sine and cosine functions as weighted sums of the exponential function. The two equations above can be derived by adding or subtracting Euler's formulas, and solving for either cosine or sine. These formulas can even serve as the definition of the trigonometric functions for complex argument sex. For example, letting x equals i y, we have complex exponentials can simplify trigonometry because they are easier to manipulate than their sinusoidal components. One technique is simply to convert sinusoids into equivalent expressions in terms of exponentials. After the manipulations, the simplified result is still real valued. For example, another technique is to represent the sinusoids in terms of the real part of a complex expression, and perform the manipulations on the complex expression. For example, this formula is used for recursive generation of cos for integer values of n and arbitrary x. See also phasor arithmetic topological interpretation. In the language of topology, Euler's formula states that the imaginary exponential function is a morphism of topological groups from the real line to the unit circle. In fact, this exhibits as a covering space of. Similarly, Euler's identity says that the kernel of this map is where these observations may be combined and summarized in the commutative diagram below. Other applications in differential equations, the function eix is often used to simplify derivations, even if the final answer is a real function involving sine and cosine. The reason for this is that the complex exponential is the eigenfunction of differentiation. Euler's identity is an easy consequence of Euler's formula. In electronic engineering and other fields, Signals that vary periodically over time are often described as a combination of sine and cosine functions, and these are more conveniently expressed as the real part of exponential functions with imaginary exponents using Euler's formula. Also, phasor analysis of circuits can include Euler's formula to represent the impedance of a capacitor or an inductor. Definitions of complex exponentiation The exponential function x for real values of x may be defined in a few different equivalent ways. Several of these methods may be directly extended to give definitions of Ez for complex values of z simply by substituting z in place of x and using the complex algebraic operations. In particular we may use either of the two following definitions which are equivalent. Power series definition for complex Z using the ratio test It is possible to show that this power series has an infinite radius of convergence, and so defines EZ for all complex Z. Limit definition for complex Z proofs Various proofs of the formula are possible. Using power series here is a proof of Euler's formula using power series expansions as well as basic facts about the powers of I, and so on. Using now the power series definition from above we see that for real values of x in the last step we have simply recognized the Maclaurin series for cos and sin. The rearrangement of terms is justified because each series is absolutely convergent. Using calculus another proof is based on the fact that all complex numbers can be expressed in polar coordinates. Therefore for some r and theta depending on x. Now from any of the definitions of the exponential function it can be shown that the derivative of eix is ieix. Therefore, differentiating both sides gives substituting for and equating real and imaginary parts in this formula gives an. Together with the initial values and in which come from this gives an. This proves the formula.